no issue with people reacting to my videos in, tra in a transformative way. I actually encourage it. But it definitely sucks to see my video slow down at 300k views while Asmon Gold's reaction gets almost a mil. My video was only up for 5 days and it's pretty much lost all momentum. So I know that Asmon had talked about this uh, on his stream. I think he talked about this yesterday, but I wasn't completely listening like into it because I was playing Elden Ring at the time and I was fighting bosses. So I only caught half of what he said. But he did say something. Maybe he's make. Maybe there's going to be a clip about that or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember what exactly he said. I know that he said that if anyone asks him to take a video down that he reacted to, he will do do it no questions asked. And I think that's pretty fucking cool of him. That is pretty fucking cool of him. But this um this is why i heard that people should wait two to seven days in between so a video doesn't lose momentum it definitely does suck as a creator like on one hand yes the guy is getting way more exposure thanks to it on one hand on the other hand sienna cave versus almost a mill that does suck that does suck a lot it probably sucks that your video gets less views than someone else's reaction of their video with monetizing them. Yes, 100%. 100%. So I completely get uh, where he's coming from in, in this statement. Completely understand where he's coming from, right? 100% understandable. No no hate towards him, no nothing. 100% understandable. Now he's made, made a longer tweet, so let's read that. <coughs> Here are my collective thoughts since this has blown up far more than I expected and I've received, I received some wild comments. Oh boy. Twitter in a nutshell, am I right? I tweeted earlier simply to share my personal experience, nothing more. I've had a few videos on my channel reach over 1 million views and this one was on track to follow a similar path, hitting 200k in just a few days. I was really excited about that. Then Ed Asmongold reacted to it. Which I was also excited about. I don't have an issue with people reacting to my content in a transformative manner to on stream. Sa at Sam Witch, for example, reacted to my Why YouTube Feels Different video on Twitch last fall, and it was awesome. The problem has always been with YouTube specific uploads. As others like Pinely, Jack's Film, and Dark Viper AU have pointed out, and I can now confirm YouTube reaction videos, especially those with the same title as the original, siphon off potential early stage viewers. This is why with the current system in place, I'd prefer that if people want to react to my content on YouTube, they give me at least 10 days. In all honesty, completely fail of him to request. 100% fail of him to request, I think. 100% fail. Like, a lot of creators say 24 hours and you can react to it, others say 48, others say a week. If that's what he wishes, that's fair. Completely fair, in my opinion. After all, it is his content. If you want to react on Twitch or even kick, I don't mind at all. But given how YouTube works, I'd rather my video have some time to brief before major creators post their reactions. Asmongold and I discussed things via DMs, and his editor has since privated the video. You can still watch his reaction on Twitch, and my original video is up on YouTube. Can you still watch his reaction on Twitch? Since Asmon isn't monetized, does he even have a library? Videos. He does. Highlights, no highlights. Past broadcasts. Okay, he does have past broadcasts, but only up to seven days because he's not affiliated, he's not partnered on this channel, no nothing. So you will soon not be able to watch his reaction on it. Uh, so that's that. You can still watch his reaction on Twitch and my original video is up on the YouTube. For those wondering, my video did get a small external boost initially, but it quickly lost momentum. On the day he posted his reaction, I gained 1.6k subs, which is great, no doubt. But the new subscribers from reactions don't come close to making up for the loss in views and revenue. <laughs> That's why I said this sucks, because it really does. It does suck. It does suck. I agree. Like, he put time and effort into actually creating a video and us reaction Andes. We just put our own opinions on top of it. It does suck. 
What he's saying makes sense. I respect it. I respect it too. No. 100% valid. The current system is flawed. We can do so much better. I believe the internet is big enough for well done transformative react content and I fully support fair use. However, the experience has made me think about how YouTube could improve the landscape for everyone. YouTube has the tools to make things better. Tagging a video as react content similar to how they tag AI content would be a great start. Introducing a revenue split like the one they've implemented for music would be even better. I don't think that one would be that good. That would lose a lot of reaction channels, so much revenue, because the music split they've implemented... People don't make that much money off of the music split, that's barely anything. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Tagging it as reaction content? Sure. I don't know about the revenue split. Because in the end it's transformative content. And in that, inherently, it makes it something transformative. React content isn't going anywhere. And there's a big difference between fair, transformative reactions and content that can negatively impact small to mid-sized creators. Yeah, sure. As for what's next for the video, I'm not sure. Especially with the recent surge of comments and views from my tweets. Who knows where it will go from here. If you enjoyed the video or any of my content and want to stick around, I truly appreciate the support. A bit about me, I've been on YouTube for years, but I started this channel 16 months ago. Hitting 100k subscribers this past winter was a dream come true. I've also been featured in at WSJ, I don't know what that is, Wall Street Journal, okay, and New York Times for some of my videos. My goal is to create engaging content that sheds light on important issues. If that sounds interesting, check me out. Thanks again. Hope that clears everything up. Reasonable, reasonable tweet for real? It's a reasonable tweet, yes. The one thing I don't agree with is a revenue split system. How long was Esmond's video on it? Esmond's video is 36 minutes on it. Where's, uh, where's his video? His video is... 15 minutes long. Esmond's video is double. Esmond videos is over double it. Revenue split is not the way. It will make React channels basically not exist. Yeah, 100% agreed. I want to see what Rosie said to, uh, about this since that's how we got here. As someone who frequently reacts to videos, I've always never wanted to impede on the original creator. I think having systems like you mentioned are really good ideas and also wish there was a system for allowing or disallowing React content. So... I know if someone's okay with it. 100%! This one- this one is so real. This one is actually such a good- uh, such an important thing. Because there's a lot of channels that don't want people to react to their videos, right? And for us react channels, it's always like... A gamble kind of thing that suddenly someone didn't like what you created and... They're just gonna unfairly copyright strike you. Even though your content is p uh, transformative enough, they just didn't like that you reacted to the video. And instead of reaching out and talking to you about it, they just copyright strike you. Uh, because YouTube system was flawed. Yeah. 100% uh, agree that there definitely needs to be some more systems in, uh, in place for this. 100% agreed. It's good that he took the video down for now, but I would have copyright claimed it he stole your title and offered little to no input while your video played the video is double the length literally the video is double the length nah just because you dislike someone doesn't give you the right to copyright strike them react content is allowed even if it has issues outlined here 100% false copyright claiming is a big no on YouTube. You should stop giving advice you literally only gonna make things worse by doing this 100% man Copyright striking things is ridiculous. It's it's one of the biggest sins you do as a, can do as a creator. Didn't know about your channel until his react video and I subscribed you to it. But after see what I'm t uh, taking as whining, I'm unfollowing. Your last year did 40k, so shifting blame to Asmongold for ruining perceived video success seems silly. Good luck to you. Um... He's not just whining, like some parts where it's leaning more into the whining part, sure. Some parts are surely leaning more towards whining, like uh, we need 
better systems, like revenue split, like the revenue split that seems a little bit whiny to me too. Like that one definitely seems a bit whiny. There do need to be some systems, like Rosia said, like mocking reactable videos, you know? There's a browser extension called Can I React for specifically this reason. It's for the creator and the reactor. You can specify whether you can react, when you can react, when it can be uploaded to YouTube, and whether you can skip the sponsors, etc. Yo, wait, what? That sounds huge! I wonder how huge this one is. Have you guys ever heard about this one? That's huge. That's the solution right there. Like, this is the solution right here. Like, can I react to it? Like, something like this. Can I react to it? Yes, no. When can I react to it? Like, specifying a time, all of that. I have wondered something. Does it count as viewership if someone watches the OG content in an old tab? Because that could mitigate this issue entirely, giving both content creators the viewership if true. Because either you mute or turn down the OG, you can listen to the React. Problem is the React person doesn't post the link in their chat when live... Uh, and the chat goes by too fast to see it. They actually need to sticky link the duration of the video and that's too hard for some. At least for the YouTube what? Link the original. I don't know who this person is talking about, but... Have you guys seen what Esmond does when he uh, watches a video? He spams the link. He spams the link so many times that for a short time while, the only thing seen is the link in the chat. So he does it in a good way. I don't know how other creators do. Me, I post it once in chat because my chat is not that fast. My chat is not that fast. I post the link in the video when I upload one. I don't know who this person is referring to. Personally, fe uh, felt you weren't intentionally trying to start anything but the express YouTube bad system. It's awesome as Mungold reached out to you. He always seemed like the decent fellow creator. I've personally followed your socials and hope to see future content. Uh, he's... Like, he, Zachary Smeagol? Schmeagol? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Definitely is getting a lot of exposure thanks to this blowing up. 100k views on this. So far. This! <laughs> had 2.8 million views. A lot of people uh, received it as whining, unfortunately. But... He's gotten a lot of exposure thanks to this. So, obviously the exposure doesn't like make up in the fucking 600k view difference, which he would go have gotten in revenue, sure. But then at the same time, it's to be argued, would his original video really have gotten that many views? Asman just exposed so many new people to his content. Just to like look at it from the flip side. To look at it from the flip side. Asman literally exposed them to so many more viewers. So many more people who have never heard of him. I've never heard of this guy. I have no idea. I have no idea who this is. Um, I think Asman goes on about... Um, let me see if he posted it on his clip channel because i know he talked about it yesterday never would have heard of him if not for esmogold same i had no idea who this dude was public enemy uh, number one is here, of it course, is here it is when they pause videos so here we go right here this is one video of course obviously you know the main public enemy number one is of course not actually youtube uh it's in fact me it's in fact 42,000 likes. It's all about me. Everybody's thinking about me. Yep. Which makes sense. They're still rolling. And it makes sense, right? Here's the thing. I'm such an interesting and compelling person that people can't stop thinking and talking about me. <laughs> True. It's really <laughs> impressive. Everybody's always thinking about me. True. You're cute. Yeah. Look at this. Where's the next one? How many upvotes does this one have? This one has 42,000. When was the last time that something got more upvotes YouTube. than this? The state of YouTube right now. Yeah, okay. He, okay, he's calling Logan it the Paul state of YouTube me. right now. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Now he's going to look, look at, at the comments. comments. It's people that are just mad, I'm sure. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, it needs to be a way monetization system funnels majority percentage to original creator. 
I think people should I really be don't worried. Know about they the should percentage. be careful what they wish for with something like this. Because I think you could apply this to like video games too. And like Nintendo did oh. this. Oh yeah, no. I know a lot of He's right. He's right. If YouTube suddenly started with like funneling revenue into the original creators, then other people could be suddenly like, oh, what about video games and this? What about movie reviews and this? That's true. That's true. People have this very idea. Very good point. But I think actually this would be very dangerous to do. Uh, especially when people I don't think it should it. be a revenue split. So uh, I, I understand. Like, I think it, it, like people have good intentions with it, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I think it need to be transformative, some effort putting into it. They're identical. No reason to watch the original. You're expecting Assman Gold to put in effort. This is a man who... Bro. <sighs> They're oh, literally man. just trash talking ass, man, of course. Oh, man. Let's see here. I'll look at a few more things here. Oh, yeah. Here this guy made here a tweet. He wasn't happy about the fact. So I, I reacted to one of his videos. Uh, he was unhappy about that. Uh, I actually DM'd him. Uh, I, I DM'd uh, Zachary here, and um, it was no big deal. Uh, we had a cordial exchange, and uh, he, uh, I was like, do you, want to, do you want me to take down or like, private the video? He's like, yeah, sure. If you could do that. I said, yeah, sure, we can do that. And so we privated the video, and everything's totally fine. There's no issue at all. And so, yeah, I could see a lot of people that oh, were um, mad about it in oh, the comments. It? But uh, yeah, it's no issue at all. Uh, for me, like, it's very hard for me to say. I think that React content... Uh, there's obviously going to be like pros and cons with everything, but in general, I try to add as much commentary as I can with my React content. And He's doing a really good job have with criticism it. of everything. So at the end I of mean, the day, I, I. Bro, he's doing a really fucking good job with it. Like, original buddy, 15 minutes. Esmond's video, 36 minutes. 20 minutes of extra content, bro. 20 minutes extra on top of that i have the perspective that if somebody doesn't like the fact that i reacted to their video unless it's like a video with me as the subject of the video right so it's like a hate video about me that i'm reacting to if they ask me to take it down for any reason even okay, if I'll the take reason it down. is i don't like you take down this video we will instantly do it with no questions asked we Absolutely don't have a problem with it. And so, yeah, it's not an issue. There's no hostility. Uh, why why have any hostility with a person, you know? So, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, uh, when you're doing but Terraria, he was talking a little know, bit more about this. Come on. The average before? I don't know it, when exactly it's very he started hard. So the problem is that in order to... So, like, a lot of videos, like, oh, this I is think the way is. that pretty much all videos work, right? Is outside uh, of like you yay! know algorithm shenanigans, here most does, videos go chat. like this, right? Yes. Where like basically a video is popular for a while, and then at a certain point it trails off. Uh, and then if, the if line goes like straight like, and straighter. If, if a react causes this to happen more, it's probably like probably not a good thing. But I think that there's always going to be like a like there's it's always a confluence of events right where it's not like one thing causes video to not do well it's yeah like all videos at one point videos just stop being recommended randomly you know but i don't think it's randomly like there's some sort of algorithm going in with as to why like the life cycle of a video just like kind of like goes like stale and just in a straight line and only like gets like a handful of views compared to a hundreds of views to make a a more um understandable size there um for example my videos that are probably like a month old now they barely get any views now they barely do get any views now like all my new videos they do like perform pretty well within like the first week ish and then they just slowly start you know going into a straight line just the life cycle of a video, I would say. It's like say. a handful of things. And so, you know, from my perspective, if somebody thinks one of those things is me reacting, then I just won't do it. Problem solved. And so, yeah, that's my uh, that's my perspective. Views to sub ratio is the same as yours for your respective video. It was yesterday, at least. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I like the guy. I thought the video was really good. And so uh, I hope he keeps making more of them. So, yeah. He keeps a hate tweet farm about you. Seems hassle-ish. 
I, I don't really I, I care guess the about hatred it. Like, people farm are hate farming is, me all the time. Uh, this, uh, it what, doesn't really bother me. This, this uh, isn't the a hate. reason why is that this isn't like, hate most farm. of the people that talk shit on Twitter are just retards. And so, am I really going to spend my time getting upset or getting mad about retards? No, not really. And also, um, a lot of I'll be honest, I'm subbed to your uh, YouTube channel, but I really watch your videos, especially since I've subbed to you on Twitch. You know, that's fair. Like, if you already see the um, reaction content live, I wouldn't see a reason why you would watch it again, unless it was a really interesting topic that you really want to see me talk about again. <laughs> so, yeah, that's completely respectable. I, I don't have an issue with that. People like me, and what I've learned is that the more people hate me, the more popular I get. <laughs> That's true. It's true. It is like, true. It's actually insane. Like I, recently, because like I've looked at like my YouTube channel, and it's like there's been these. I mean, the point of the clip channel is promoting the Twitch, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Like, if you're now talking, like, uh, about the difference of, like, a main channel from someone from, for example, me, Kitsunero, I have my own YouTube channel, but if I didn't have a clip channel and if uh, uh, another clip channel would make clips about me, yes, those clip channels, they are just, they are fans, they want to promote the streamer, they think it's funny, they want to make content out of it, and I think it's a good relationship between a clip channel and a creator. I think it's something good. And for me, it's still fame, it is. It is. Hate threads and people getting mad about me constantly. And it's like, I've been getting multiple videos in like one day in some cases, getting over a million views. That's insane. What the fuck? And like, we're uploading like five videos a day. Like, how is this happening? And I'll tell you how it's <laughs> happening. It's because everybody's fucking thinking about me. And so, yeah, I don't worry about that at all. And so, yeah, of course people are going to dislike what I'm saying, but I think that there's enough people that see the discourse around me, and then mm. they look into my content, and they're like, well, actually, this guy is... Uh, this guy's pretty uh, based! Th this, this guy's not so bad. Yeah! So, yeah. But wait, the things he's saying make sense? What? Wait, Espen is giving everyone a fair shot? What? Crazy. And, Chet, you know what? And even with all the... Like, discourse about how he's like the king of the freaking roaches and all that shit. He's still very respectable to women. <laughs> I I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's true. He never disrespects a woman. Unless it's deserved. Unless it's deserved. Unless that woman did something. But like, on a person-to-person -person basis, he's actually a pretty chill dude. I know Shane Lily has a fan run clip channel on YouTube. I'm not sure they have permission for it or not. They do have the permission for it. They are basically partners, more or less. Shane Lily knows about the existence of the channel. Shane Lily allows him. It was taken down a while ago from YouTube, and then Shane Lily was fighting for the channel to be reinstated because he is allowed to create the content. I might be wrong, but most of his views came from his YouTube channel. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Oh shit! Thank you so much for the thousand. Shiro, you're gonna read that message? No. Since Ryzen says, ah. Hi, YouTube vlog here. Coincidentally, hi. my topic mini cape blink just wanted to say I enjoy your content and was introduced to you through Rosie. Hi. Thanks for making my work days enjoyable as I have you in the background at work. Your awesome sauce, niche happy, niche happy. Aw, thank you so much. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the thousand biddies and. I, I'm I'm just glad you enjoy the content and you enjoy listening to me. That means a lot to me, man. It really does. Clip channels have the same effect on creators that AMVs and edits have on enemies. If what you see something you like, from just go... Oh, right, AI. Spread that positivity and gratitude. Keep enjoying the chaos and fun content. Your support <laughs> means the world to us. It does! Let's continue making your workdays awesome. Hmm. 100% agree. <laughs> she was so goddamn adorable. I know, right? I love her too.
Club channels have the same effect on creators uh, that AMVs and edits have on anime. If you see something you like, just go looking for it. That is very true. That's how I found a lot of anime. That's, for example, how I found Clanet After Story. Through clips on YouTube, through AMVs on YouTube. That's how I found a lot of anime. A lot of them. A lot of it is, um... It's comparable to... What do you call it? Uh, word by mouth? Is that how you call it? Sorry. Not native speaker. Uh, but... Yeah, it's how I found a lot of good Donghua. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's how I found 90% of VTubers, including Kitsunero. It's how I found a lot of VTubers too. Yeah, that's what it's called? Yeah, nice then. But yeah, like 100%, a lot of us are going to take the word of mouth way more serious than any advertising could ever do. And I think people need to respect that more than some do like at advertisers need to respect that more companies need to respect that more more is what i wanted to say like companies need to like allow the natural word of mouth to do their thing they need to stop catering to shit and just let the product do the talking in the end but i think that will do it for this. <laughs> I think that will do it for this. I think we've talked about enough. I think we, we covered this topic uh, a lot now. Holy. Holy, holy. 